Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the activity selection problem and we are going to discuss the greedy algorithm for the activity selection problem. So what is the activity selection problem? Let us assume that there are n activities a1, a2, dot dot up to n. So s denotes a set of n activities and you can think of these being n activities that you have to do and of course these you cannot maybe do all these activities so you have to figure out what are the best set of activities to do that is essentially the activity selection problem so each of these activities ai has a start time si and a finish time fi now, say these are a bunch of to-dos that you have or activities that you have that you want to do. Now, you can only do activities that do not overlap with each other. Now, if a bunch of activities overlap, you can only do one of those activities. You can't do the rest of those activities. So, in the activity selection problem, we'll take this into account. Now, activities, AI, and aj are said to be compatible so these are compatible activities if they do not overlap so these are how we define compatible activities that they do activities that do not overlap so the activities that you can that overlap you cannot do both these activities. Now the activity selection problem is the following. Select the maximum size subset of mutually compatible activities. So there are a lot of activities. Some of them are not compatible with each other. And your goal is to select the maximum size subset of mutually compatible activities. Okay, so that is the activity selection problem. So to solve this problem, what we'll first do is sort the problems by finish time. That is, we sort Pro activities by increasing finish time. So, so we're going to order these activities and what we're going to, so F1 less than equal to F2 less than equal to F3. So these are N activities and we're just going to sort them out by finish time. So these are n activities and so fn has the the finish time furthest into the future f1 is the activity that finishes first now the thing to note is just because an activity finishes first does not mean that that activity has begun earlier okay so different activities can have different duration and they can finish at different points in time so to understand this let us first consider an example so I have in this in this example I've sorted all these activities by finish time. So we are going to consider an example where there are eleven activities. So I is the activity one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there are eleven activities. The start times are one, three, zero, five, three, five, six, eight, eight, two, and twelve. So these are the different times at which these different activities start. Now the finish time for these activities is sorted. So these are the finish times of the activities and they're sorted in increasing order. So as you can see, some activities start earlier, but then finish much later. For example, activity 10, it starts way early. That is at time two but it only finishes at 14. So different activities of different durations and they start at different times. Now, 
let's try to figure out some mutually compatible activities. There's activities that you can do. Now the goal is to find out the maximum set. So first let us understand what are mutually compatible. So if you look at A3, A9 and A11, these are mutually compatible. So A3 is, is this one, starts at 0, ends at 6, A9 starts at 8, ends at 12, and 11 starts at 6, 12 and ends at 16. So you can do all these three different activities. Okay, now what is the maximum subset? Is this the maximum? The maximum is not there. There are activities, there are two maximum subsets, the maximum. So the maximum subset of activities may not be unique and we'll see this for this example. So there are two such things. One is A1, A4, A8 and A9. This is one. These are four activities that you can do. Another one is A2, A4, A9 and A11. There may be others as well. I'm just mentioning these two. So now let's erase these. So what we have are mute maximum subset. So what we can see is there are multiple options here. Some of them are not as large as others. And even the maximum there can be multiple options. So the solution to this problem is any one of these two. Any one of these two is a solution to this problem. So how do we get the largest set of mutually compatible activities? So to do that, we'll have to take a greedy approach. So there is a greedy algorithm. Now, for those of you who are listening to greedy algorithms for the first time, a greedy algorithm is an algorithm which makes a greedy choice. That is, it chooses something that looks best at present. And it keeps repeating that choice till there are no other options left. Okay. Now, the greedy choice here is one greedy choice. There could be others as well. This is what we are going to choose and this will give us the optimal solution. Choose activities with earliest finish time. So you keep choosing activities with earliest finish time. Of course, you have to make sure that the activities that you choose are mutually compatible. Now, we will denote by u this set of these, of sort of sorted activities, okay, by finish time. And we'll see why this is needed when we look at the pseudocode. So if we follow this logic for this problem, we'll first pick A1. So we'll first pick a1. So first pick A1. Now we cannot pick uh, A2 or A3 for that matter. We cannot pick A5 because these are all activities that will are not compatible with A1. So you first pick this one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pick the next activity. You keep going down this line. Okay. Two cannot be picked because it's not compatible. Three cannot be picked because it's not. Go to four. Yes, four cannot can be picked. It's compatible. So you pick four. Then you go here. That's not compatible. This one's not compatible. You go here. This one's not compatible. This one. Yeah, it's compatible because it starts at eight, and a four ends at seven, and then nine is not compatible with eight because it only ends at eleven. Uh, 10 is also not compatible and then 11 seems to be compatible. So you go here. So you will actually get this one. This one. I'm going to put two more ticks here. That particular solution using the greedy algorithm that I just described. So that's how, that's the greedy algorithm for the activity selection problem. So how do you go about implementing this? So it's a pretty simple algorithm. I'll just talk about the pseudocode next. So you have sorted all the activities by um, by finish time and you're going to pick them out. So the greedy algorithm, so I'm just going to write it greedy activity select. This is the algorithm and 
it's going to take in the start and finish times of all these of all these activities so the first going to have n which is basically the length of all these of the any of these two arrays because this is the number of activities start off by picking a1 the first activity the sorted list then define k equals one what you're going to do is you're going to loop through the remaining activities to see if they can be picked okay now if sm the start time is greater than or equal to fk the finish time of the activity that has currently been picked then you will actually add this activity to your list so initially if you notice k is one so you always pick the first activity in this approach and then what you do is you go through the remaining activities two to n and see if when which activity overtakes the finish time of the first activity once you get that activity what you are going to do is you are going to update k okay so you update k and then k will be m so you then go on so you're basically going to go through this entire set of activities one and once you've done that you are going to get the maximum sized activity subset so this is our greedy algorithm for this so here the algorithm essentially loops through this entire set of activities once so the one time of this algorithm is theta of n it's a very simple algorithm and if you do this you will get the greedy solution for the activity selection problem which is also the optimal solution so once again to iterate what you do is you sort the activities by finish time and you keep picking activities with the earliest finish time and that will give you your solution with this, I'll conclude this video. Thank you for watching.